I love these. This is like a great year or a great summer. Not a great year, just great summer for shoe releases that are super nostalgic. We had the AJKOs, awesome, even though you know it was hard to get. The 85 cut in the neutral gray, awesome, even though they're almost impossible to get. These though, they weren't quite impossible to get. They were available for members, and I think they still have another launch at retailers. You can't beat this. Yeah, 1991, like fine wine. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look at these bad boys right here. This is the Reebok Pump Omnizone 2, the OG version. Not the light version, the OG version. So the light version was actually a kind of like mid-top-ish version of this shoe. This is the first time ever. Well, that was the first time ever, those black ones back there. But this is the first time ever that these guys have re-released true to original form for the most part. And before I talk about the shoes, I do want to just go over the box real quick. I could not talk about the box the first time because uh, the D Brown version or the Dunk Contest version, those just came in a like a gym bag thanks to Reebok. So shout out to Reebok for sending them over. I really appreciate it. They actually sent these ones over too, but this time around they did come in the box. There's something about this box right here, man. Like this box right here is so dope. They just don't do stuff like this anymore, man. Now, as for the shoe itself, this guy right here debuted in 1991. And I just think that these are mad beautiful, man. This is a clean ass design. I think that the Omni Zone 2 is just a cleaner, more slim down version, if you will. I know that that's like a bad way to explain it just because these are still bulky by today's standards. But if we're comparing this to the original pump, which was named The Pump back in 1989, this guy right here is just way slimmer, way sleeker. The original was just big, bulky around the ankle and all of that. And I love these, man. They came out so good. I was scared that that other colorway was in place of this one. They were like the white with the cream they're aged white and navy and stuff like that thank goodness that they weren't they they planned to release both of them which they did also though boy look at that thing it's gorgeous look at that aggressive herringbone you gotta see it in person like feel it it's like sharp i love it i also love the highlighted pivot point it just looks cool looks like the 80s and the 90s man i just dig it the midsole itself they claim is eva however back in this time frame they were still using polyurethane so i don't know if the retros are different than the originals or if they just got the tech spec wrong. I'm not exactly sure what it is. All I know is that they state that it's EVA. It does have a slight bounce to it, much like a good polyurethane will, but I'm just not willing to put it out there. You know what I mean? That it's polyurethane and not EVA or vice versa. We're just gonna go with what the brand says for right now, just cause I'm not 100%. However, inside of the midsole is hexalite, kind of. They say it's hexalite, not exactly hexalite. It looks like hexalite, kind of, but it's not. Just little hexagons and stuff. The original hexalite was way different. I'll put a picture of it over here. I do this every time we do a Reebok video and people still ask questions like what's di it just it looks like that that's all I can say like it, it wasn't a perfect hexagon it was weird and uh, yeah and it just was different like it was a different type of plastic a different bag a different air inside all of that stuff was just not like what it is now nowadays they just make it to look like hexalite even though it doesn't look like hexalite however that back heel logo right there it's so good man I love seeing stuff like this it really brings me back to being a kid and I just really dig it even the little logo Logo right here where it just says Reebok the pump the tongue logo is the illish ever because it's plastic it reminds me of having a toy and a shoe combined and again as a kid what more could you ask for it's like the light up LA gear like you love that I still like it I like it a lot now does the Reebok pump work well it worked for a second on my on my black pair on these ones I was able to pump up one and then I this wasn't the one, it was the other shoe. However, Reebok did send another pair of these over to Wear Tester's own Jalik. And uh, I mean, Jalik, do yours pump? Now what the pump is supposed to actually be is an air bladder system. I believe in the original pump, it was both in the tongue and in the back. However, I could be wrong about that. It could just be the back. I'm not remembering exactly. I probably should have deep dived once again, do a little refresher, but I didn't. I'm sorry. If you guys are Reebok fanatics, let me know down below, but I'm pretty sure that it was a back surround plus the tongue surround. These guys right here, I believe are just in the tongue. So there's just an air bladder in here. The tongue goes way down deep. 
big old flap. That's where it seams inside of there. And then when you would pump up the pump, it would inflate the bladder, which would then make the fit tighter and closer to your foot. And when it was around the entire shoe, like the heel and the tongue area, it would just really suck everything in there. And yes. That's what she said. No time. Anyways, it would have been great had these had the original feature work exactly the way that they originally did. I don't know what's going on with the pumps. I don't know if there's like a disconnect in the tube or whatever, but they do work sometimes. I can't get the damn thing to work consistently. Now the materials on these guys are fantastic, man. Like, what you get for your dollar is just so good. Granted, they don't have the real Hexalite. I wish that they would remake that and make it right and everything. Same thing with the pump. However, if we're just talking about retros, because let's face it, man, nobody's playing them. At least nobody's buying them specifically to play in them. Somebody might end up playing in a pair, but it's not like they're going to be like, yeah, that's going to be my new hoop shoe for 2021. No, that's not what anybody's thinking. But the, the leather on these guys is just great. Like it looks good. It's thick. It's softly coated. So the PU coat is not hella thick or anything like that, making it feel like a piece of cardboard on your foot. They're under 190. You get all of the nostalgia kits plus everything. It's just good, man. It's good. Now, as far as fit is concerned, they do fit true to size. They fit perfectly one-to-one. -one. I absolutely love it. There's tons of padding inside the rear as well as in the tongue. So even without the inflatable air unit in the bag or the pump, you know what I'm talking about, the bladder. Working properly. Yes, they still fit great. So what do you think about this colorway? I like them more than the black. Actually though, I wanted to talk about this shoe in a different way, in a Jody type way. Oh great, does it have to do with murder? No! Oh, thank God, <laughs> thank goodness. It has to do with another hobby I have right now, which is once a week I make our son sit down and watch like a, oh, yeah, a throwback a movie. movie. And I've been like trying to stick to the 90s era and we watched the original Mighty Ducks. Black, black, black. Mm -hmm. And a question that I get fairly often from like newcomers into our discord is usually like hey have you always been into sneakers or is it something that has grown as you've been with Nightwing and my name is Chris yeah. <laughs> they always say it though that way but it's definitely something that's grown and I can attest to this because while I'm watching Mighty Ducks mm -hmm. shoes are not on my mind but there's a scene where they're running and they have to jump over a fence to get away and I see these pumps run by and I was just like I know what those are because <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> yeah but I also do this like when I'm watching Grey's Anatomy I'll pause and be like hey babe mm -hmm. Hey, look what's on Jackson's feet and it'll be like a pair of Yeezys or Always wearing some Jordans or yeah, something. Yeah, that's my life now. I mean, that <laughs> sounds awesome, you know? I think these are fantastic. I don't know if this is my favorite release of 2021 so far. It damn near might be. Over there, I'm looking at like the Tempos, uh, the Total Maxes, the AJKOs, the 85 Cuts, and they're all great. I love them all, but like we've gotten AJKOs before. Granted, not as good as what we got this last time. We've had that Total Max of Tempo before. We haven't really had 85 Cuts before, but they're so impossible to get that I just cannot give them any credit because it's just like, I feel like they're with fans by dangling a carrot in front of their face instead of letting fans actually appreciate the stuff that they grew up with, right? Whereas this shoe, it's just like, yeah, if you're a member, they're available. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not a member, they're available. These are made in less quantities than all of the shoes I just talked about, and they're still available. So it's like, it's not like the brand's taking anything away from you or making you feel like you must go get it now. Otherwise you might miss out. This brand is just like, hey, this is our heritage. This is from a time frame that you probably remember and probably think of like fondly. Here you go, man. And I'm just like, thank you. They're great. Like they are great. Well, you know what is great? This shirt. Oh yeah, it is. This is our brand, Sense Apparel. We created this. It's awesome. Will there be one with one of these on there? Probably, but I mean, we have to start with one first. So this is the one that releases officially June 3rd. So if you're not already ready, you might want to get ready. You can go to the website right now, senseapparel.com. You can sign up for your email address where that will ping you as soon as they are available and you can order one and they're awesome. But anyways, that pretty much takes care of it for these guys. Again, this is the Reebok Pump OmniZone 2, not the Omni Light. OmniZone, the real deal this time around. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Do you like these more than anything else that's released so far this year? I'm talking to very specific people right now. Okay. I'm not talking to hype beasts. I'm not talking to new generation kids. I'm talking to a like my age group. Okay, so if you're from my era, I need to know this. How good is this? I mean, it's great. But anyways, thank you so much for everything, and until next time, guys, have a good one.